All right, trigger. How do I acquire that? This box right here is a rigid body. Don't need a rigid body. I can remove that component of rigid body. And what I want to do is make it is trigger. Okay. And I'm going to leave it uh, there in front of the door. I'm going to just kind of make it a little bit smaller so I can see the door open. I'll be able to pass right through this object. Okay, just make sure it's at the height of the player. Just like that. And hit play, see if I have anything. I have one missing semicolon. There we go. Okay, when theory, I should be able to walk into this door. Now, what didn't I specify? Well, I didn't put the code on anything. So here's that cube. Let's put that collide open over here. Again, I'm going to have to specify angle open, which is zero, and angle close, which is going to be 90. Oh, no, the other way around. Angle close is zero. This one's 90. Yes. And the door. 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 All right, let's see what happens. I'll walk into it. Bam. Opens right up. And you're like, wow, what did I do the other uh, videos when I had to put all the alert angles and ray casting in? Why would you do this? This is a lot easier. There's no doubt about it. But you don't teach somebody the easier thing first, or they'll never learn the hard thing. So now we're going to teach you how to close the door, which is a little different than the previous example with uh, ray casting or collides, because uh, it, it's a deductive reasoning thing. So let's go into the next video where I show you how to write a script to close the door.